What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. If this is your first time watching one of my playthroughs, or if you are a returning viewer, I appreciate it very much either way. If you enjoy it, please show your support by leaving me a like, a comment, or subscribing to my channel for this and various other playthroughs of all, well, not all kinds of games, but more than just one type. So, yeah. Uh, let's get into it. We are now um, in deadly life. We're investigating. <laughs> Sayaka! Oh no! Yes. She was kind of annoying. Sorry. I mean, I don't want. I don't wish you were dead. First of all, I should head to the scene of the crime. My room. <laughs> yeah. We won't make any progress without investigating there. So I headed to my room, where Sayaka's corpse still remains. Why is her dead body still in your room, you douche? And, oh, nice. I'd better examine the state of my room a little closer. That might reveal something new. Um, like there are now people in your room? How about that? Investigation. Wah, 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 wah. I'm telling you, the lint roller did it. Huh? Looking at the lint roller, it looks like there's way less than there was before. Did Sayaka see how dirty my room was and decide to clean up a little? Maybe. This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. Does this mean it was used at the attack somehow? And plus, it's been taken out of its sheath. I hadn't actually looked at the blade itself till now. I shouldn't be surprised it's coated in gold too. On top of that, some of the gold coating has come off parts of the blade and the handle. Ah, good eye. Good eye, Makoto. Yeah, the handle especially is missing a lot of its coating. I remember the coating sticks to you, even if you just touch it a little bit. Yeah, because you bitched about that for, like, ever. Oh, I got a nice. Replica sword has been added, oh yeah, to the truth bullet section of your handbook. I was wondering how we got those. Okay. Now I'm getting pumped. Clues. There's a key on the ground. It has my name on it, so this must be my room key. No. If I remember correctly. Ah, that's right. We'll have to trade keys. Aw, oh, missed. When we switched rooms, we switched keys, too. So Sayaka would have had the key here in my room the entire time. But wait, if that's true, then... How did the killer get into the room in the first place? It was someone she knew. Could Sayaka have forgotten to lock the door? No, that seems impossible. The same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Okay, I totally did. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Yeah, we lied, and now you're dead. After saying that, there's no way she would have forgotten to lock it or opened it for any reason. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere, and someone else grabbed it or something. No, that's not possible either. Sayaka was in here when we switched rooms. 
and with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around, so she couldn't have dropped it. So, how did the killer... Truth bullet. Switching rooms has been added to the Okay. There are scratches and gouges on my walls and bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? It looks like there must have been some kind of fight in my room. Well, no. No shit, Sherlock. Damn it. I was right there in the other room. If only I'd heard something. Wait. That would not have been possible. Huh? Don't you remember? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. Ah, he did say that because then I made a joke and said giggity. <laughs> so something could happen in the room right next to you and there's no way you could know. Well. Perhaps this was another of Monokuma's strategies, creating an ideal setting for murder. That would make sense. He's pretty fucked up. Okay, this is... <clears throat> but how the sheath get scratched up in the first place, that's new. Even if someone used a sword during the struggle, it doesn't make sense for the sheath to be damaged. I mean, if you're gonna attack someone with a sword, the first thing you do is unsheath it. Ideally. A heavy sheath like this would only get in the way. It could just slide off in the middle of the fight. We could use it to block. So why are there scratches on the sheath? Yes! Uh, we have bad weather coming and my lights are flickering. Better not go out during my investigations. I'd be angry. Just in case. Okay, that's seriously not cool. Ah, oh, before anything else, I need to investigate my room. It's not what I was trying to do. You can never be too careful. Because I've made progress. So. As long as the lights don't go out, I shall continue. Stop telling me what to do. gouges in the bed like someone attacked it. Those bastards. What the hell happened here? The notepad is still here, but I don't think it's relevant right now. <laughs> I thought maybe there'd be a message. The toolkit is still inside the drawer. I don't see any evidence it's been used at all. Which makes sense, I guess. I mean, it's mine, and I haven't had any reason to open it. I can't even imagine a situation where I'd need a toolkit like this. Uh, to murder someone? No. Yeah, seriously. Oh, Mondo. What? We what? ain't exactly in the mood to be building fucking furniture. Right. So you haven't used yours either, then? Why are we all of a sudden having a discussion on toolkits? What? What? Not just me. Nobody's busted theirs out yet, as far as I know. Everyone hates the toolkit. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. By the way, none of the guys have opened their toolkits yet. Cause, like, why the hell would we? Wow, it got added to truth. I see. That's why you investigate everything. A surveillance. Camera. The mastermind must be using them to keep an eye on everything that's happened here. They don't do anything to stop what's happening. They just keep on watching. Yeah, because he's a sadistic fucker. I know I keep doing that, but I'm just making sure I get everything. Investigations and such. There are scratches and gouges on my walls and bed. Yeah. Oh no. Well. 
Sakura, do you think I'm guilty too? Hey. I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether or not you did this. Hmm. Whatever decision the rest of you come up with, I will follow your lead. I see. Well, okay. By the way... You know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the body, I mean. There's a trash room here in the dorms, right? They could have tossed some stuff in there. Oh, guess I know where we're going next. Yeah, that's definitely possible. You son of a bitch! That dirty bastard! Oh, shit. Anyone who raises their hand to a woman is scum that deserves death. That's what my brother taught me. You're fucking dead! So if I ever find the son of a bitch that did this, I'm gonna pound his goddamn face in. But, but, what if it was a girl that did it? <laughs> Expression says, I'm about to get punched in the face Yo. again. That'll all get sorted out when the time comes. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Hello. Hey. Kyoka. I quietly called her name while she was investigating the area. But... Silent dream. What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? <laughs> no. Not really. I'm searching. Searching? She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every inch of my room. Did you lose a contact or something? Oh my god. I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. But a few seconds later, she suddenly stood up straight and said, Listen. Are you a clean freak? Huh? N no, I don't think so. But what? Nodding, she glanced around my room one more time. See, look, she's she's the CSI. I see. Interesting. What's interesting? Hey. Just as I suspected, there's something very unusual about your room. Reaction! <laughs> unusual? What do you mean? So... I've searched your floor from one corner to another. And I didn't find one single strand of hair. Really? Indeed. Not one hair from the victim, and not one hair from you, even though you've been living in here. You know, now that you mention it, I noticed something while I was looking around before. It looked like the lint roller in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Could someone have used it to? I see. Very interesting. Your room didn't have a single hair in it, and someone used your lint roller without your knowledge. I told you the lint roller did it! In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Was it... Sayaka? Or the killer? Well... That's the question, isn't it? Nice truth bullet! Aw, oh, take that lint roller. I got you, you son of a bitch. You whore son. The bathroom. And on the other side of this door, yeah, we know. Hi! <laughs> no, I can't let it get to me. You have to investigate. I can't afford to freeze up now. You gotta do it, man. Forcing myself to push my panic down, I step into the bathroom. You got this, buddy. Looking at her made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that made her, her. Sayaka. 
All at once, I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, the urge to burst into tears. But I can't. I can't hesitate now. Why? Why did Sayaka have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse. But that thought held me up and supported me. <laughs> I looked past Sayaka to the wall behind her. And there I saw... I knew I saw that earlier. What? Written in blood were the numbers 11037. Did Sayaka do this? I told myself I simply couldn't face what I saw, but... But now's no time to think like that. I pulled out the Monokuma file to verify what it said about her body. <laughs> Some sort of shark. That shouldn't be that hard to say. Some sort of sharp object has been thrust into her stomach. That must have been the killing blow. It's not really her stomach. That's more like Kirk's. Solar plug, whatever, I'm not gonna argue with you, maybe it is. But whatever they used to kill her, where'd they get it? That's definitely something I should look into later. Also, according to the Monokuma file, Sayaka's right wrist is broken. Her wrist does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. And yellow? But there's something sort of glittery there on her wrist too. Oh, it's the sword! Right there, where her wrist is all swollen, there's something glittery. See, I should have been in the CSI. That definitely concerns me. Another thing that concerns me is... Huh? There's some blood on her left index finger, but that's it. She left a message. The palms of both her hands are totally spotless. So how come only her left finger? Nice! Truth bullets. The stab wound in her stomach is what killed her. So when she broke her wrist, that must have happened earlier on. I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed? So it's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacked Sayaka in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom, where they inflicted the deadly wound. Yep. It would seem... It looks like you found it. Right, Makoto? The bloody numbers? That's most likely Sayaka's dying message. REACTION! I've never seen something written in blood before. It really was her final message. It's as if she wrote it with life itself. Right. Do you often talk like an aspiring poet? Oh, burn! <laughs> Investigation burn. But the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? 11037. I have no idea what that could possibly mean. See, now I'm trying to look at it upside down to see if it spells anything. <laughs> so... The way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them. If she wrote them in that location, while she was sitting the way we found her, 
It means she must have wrote them by turning only her hand toward the wall. If you were to write something in that position, do you know what the result would be? Breaking your wrist. The result? Well, think about it. You're not going to tell me? Makoto. You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. <laughs> Otherwise, the case will end and you'll remain unconvinced. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obvious you're not going to tell me. Nice! See, that looks like Leon. Whatever. It sounds like Kyoko knows what Sayaka's dying message means. <gasps> I think I may too. But honestly, I have no idea. Yes, you do. Come on, dude. Think about it. Oh, I know who I should talk to. Yes, you do. When it comes to numbers, who better to ask than the ultimate programmer? Makoto. There's one other thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? Broken? Oh, you mean how it gets stuck? What? get stuck? Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. But once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. <laughs> what I thought about Correct. that. So, the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. Huh? The doorknob? That's right. You didn't notice. Well, just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. I did what Kyoko said and shut the bathroom door. Da da da. Huh? The doorknob? What the heck? The doorknob's practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? It would seem... Someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it, so someone did use their toolkit. I already know, though. I, well, I think. Whatever it was, it's obvious this was intentional. What? It was intentional? Why would someone want to do that? So... I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girls' bathrooms can lock, right? She stood there for a while, lost in thought. Then, apparently struck with a sudden realization, she shot a question at me. Just a second. I have just one more question for you. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Oh, um... Well, I did tell Sayaka about it last night when we switched rooms. So what you're saying is only you and Sayaka knew about it. Mm -hmm. Interesting. She had the slightest hint of a smirk on her face. I mean, it is like super raining outside. <laughs> it's even better for a murder mystery. It's this perfect element. I got the sense that she was really starting to get into all this. I see. Then that clears that up. Huh? What clears what up? I'm so lost. You always are. Goodbye. Well, see you later. As if forgetting I was even there, she suddenly turned and left the room. Nice. I still really don't understand any of this, but I've already given my room a good once-over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. Yeah, should start looking into where the murder weapon might have come from. And also, I should look into the DVD Sayaka got. With Sayaka dead, I have no choice but to see for myself what was in that video. Oh, you've just been waiting to watch it. And on top of that, I'm sure there are some other areas worth checking out too. 
Maybe I should see what everyone else thinks. If they'll even talk to me, that is. Yes! Alright, we're doing uh, pretty well. I'm gonna save again. <laughs> Cause I... Again. I never know. This weather. That's the... Oh, I'm running in the halls, hauling ass! Let's see. We have my truth bullets. Huh? This is definitely my room, but the nameplate has Sayaka's name on it. As I place my hand on Leon's door, I noticed a human-shaped blur come tearing out of the depths of the hallway. Hey, you bastard! Hold up! Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? I knew it. Huh? I mean, seriously? How does my room have anything to do with the investigation? Well, I suppose that's the natural reaction to someone trying to go in your room without permission. Let me in there. Hey, you bastard! You're a bastard. I mean, seriously? Let me in your room. Bastard. Stamp it. Uh-huh, talk to you. Very strange. So why was Sayaka in your room when she was killed? Could it be because you are the culprit? N no, you've got it all wrong. Sayaka and I switched rooms last night. Hmm. He didn't even try to hide the suspicion on his face. Hmm. Even if what you say is the absolute truth, you're still responsible for her death, wouldn't you say? Huh? <laughs> After all, she wouldn't have died if she hadn't switched rooms with you, right? <laughs> the reason Sayaka was killed is because I suggested we switch rooms. Don't let him get in your head, dude. She's dead because of me. Then it should have been me that died? <laughs> well, all we can say right now is that it's a possibility. Th that's... If that's really true, then I... I'm telling you, he's just being a butt. Huh? This is Sayaka's room, right? But the nameplate has my name on it because they switched. The nameplate's on my room and Sayaka's room 
were switched. So all that effort I put into switching rooms without anyone knowing was totally pointless. But why would anyone do that? Well, I guess we have truth bullets now. Can I go in? Oh, okay, good. I was thinking it was going to be a futile attempt. There can only be one thing in the trash can. Yep, the DVD with Sayaka's name on it. Sayaka got really upset after seeing whatever was in that video. I wonder, what did she see? It might not be directly related to the case, but it might be worth checking out anyway. I'm sorry, Sayaka. I need to borrow this DVD. I don't think she minds. Sayaka. No, I can't let myself get depressed again. I need to search for clues. Nothing here. The liar, there was something there. A coin. Are there coins in here? Oh, they said something about the trash room. We could finally go in the trash room. Oh, that's right. Damn it. There's a sturdy gate here. No way to get past. Monokuma appears! <laughs> ah, it's the end of the line. The trash room. This is where all the trash in the school eventually winds up. How do you get this gate open? No, no, you can't go any further! No entry beyond this point. Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Cleaning duty? No, no, you can't go any further! Who's on cleaning duty? No, no, you can't go any further! Oh my god. This is stupid. Exactly. It'd be faster to just go around and ask no, the others. No, you can't go any further. Get the hell out of here. They gave me a truth bullet. Weirdo. There's a hatch on the floor. The door won't budge. It must be locked. Yeah, we knew that from last time. Well, at least I'm getting lots of truth bullets. Shortcut. Wah! <laughs> I can't help it. It's even funnier on the map. I'm running in the halls. Look at me. Breaking the rules. Doesn't matter. There's no rules here. I'll go talk to you before I head into the AV room. What's up, bud? Hmm. Cleaning duty, eh? As a matter of fact, Monokuma came and talked to me yesterday morning. I should have known the you. Really? Listen to me! He probably realized I was basically in charge, so he decided to talk to me directly. The topic of conversation was assigning cleaning duty. Oh. So, you're on cleaning duty now. That's wrong! Actually, no. Huh? Okay. Then, who is? 
Hifumi was also there when we had this conversation. He volunteered right away, so I let him have it. So he's on cleaning duty then. Count on it. Ah, indeed. But we'll swap out on a weekly basis. I'm sure you'll in. You'll be up before too long. Got it. Have to bide my time then. Uh huh. And when that time comes, I'll be counting on you. Yes, yes, we know. You're just Mr. Chipper. Hold the good cheer. What is up with my controller? Let me in here. Please and thank you. I can't waste time worrying about these monitors. Forget it. I need to just erase it from my memory. Well, sorry. I'm just doing my job. I should be able to use this to see what's on the DVD. The DVD that Sayaka threw in the garbage. I sat down in front of the screen and put the DVD in the player. I pushed play and the screen was dark for a few seconds. But then... An image slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of concert. And standing on stage, front and center, was a face I recognized all too well. Sayaka. She was there along with the friends she said had been so important to her. She was positively glowing there in front of the crowd, so full of life. Seeing that image made it even harder to accept except that she was dead. My vision started to blur and darken, and then that voice I'd come to despise so much began to float out of the speakers. Sayaka Maizono, the ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world-famous all-girl pop band. For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. But then... Oh, of course. Suddenly, the screen went dark. And in that next moment, I saw something I could hardly believe. <gasps> what the? Sayaka had disappeared from the stage, which was now in ruins. But what I noticed even more than that was the figures of the other girls who had all simply collapsed. This ultra successful team suddenly fell apart. You bastard. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. For Sayaka, there's simply nowhere for her to return to. So here's the billion dollar question. What oh what could have caused the group to go to pieces? Oh. Sayaka. 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 I've been trying to figure out how to say that. Without warning, the video cut off. Sayaka. <laughs> Sayaka. <laughs> what, what the hell? That wasn't real, right? They're a super famous pop group. Everyone knows who they are. Is he trying to say he was even able to get to them? If that really did happen, everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. What kind of person would take things this far? That insane bear? Monokuma, there's nothing inside. Nothing inside. Yeah, who cares? Yep.
Well, let's just see here. about cleaning duty. Who are you? Who are you? Oh yeah. Definitely going to talk to you. Shin here. Celeste. You having a snack? You're by the ball. It's like some kind of mailbox, but there's nothing in it. I don't think it's going to help me solve this case. Well, it gave you a coin now, didn't it? Now aren't you glad you looked? Hey, Celeste, do you know anything about this cleaning duty stuff? Huh? Cleaning duty? What is that? <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea. Maybe you should ask Taka. Or someone else. Anyone but me, really. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Uh, nothing. talk to you. Where are you? Where'd she go? Is she in the classroom? I'll find you. Aha! This blackboard. Can I not investigate the this blackboard that says this blackboard belongs to us now, Secret Beauty? Okay, whatever. Togo, can you tell me anything about cleaning duty? Huh? Cleaning d duty? What's your problem? Like I'd know anything about that. Talk is the one who cares about stupid organizational st stuff like that. Organizational. There's a clock telling me what time it is, but I can't see outside, so I have no idea if it's even right. Speaking of which, I wonder if there's a time limit on our investigation. Oh, probably so. I don't have time to worry about this metal plate now. If I don't find some kind of clue... Okay, okay. Yes, leave the area. I don't think there's anyone else on this floor. Wait, what is this? I went in there. Talked to everyone here. So. Oh, 
running in the halls. <laughs> oh, good times. I'm coming for you. Where are all of you? They're all. <laughs> this is where I just was. I talked to him. Seems like something doesn't seem right. The Monokuma file said Sayaka was killed in your room. I just can't stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? Um, I'm looking for whoever's on cleaning duty. Hmm. Cleaning duty? As a matter of fact, that's me. Why do you ask? It just so happens Monokuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. Without someone on cleaning duty, the school would be flooded with trash in no time. <laughs> so I formally applied for the position. Hmm. I was going to start this morning, but after what happened, I haven't had a chance to get started. Slacker. <laughs> and since you're on cleaning duty, you can open the gate in front of the trash room. Here we go. How about we call it the trash room? Of course. It's my job to gather up all the garbage and toss it in the trash room. And to do that, they gave me the key for the trash room gate. Mm-hmm. But we're supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually you'll be in charge. No, you let me in there now. Very strange. Wait, hold on. You need a key to get in the trash room, and only the person on cleaning duty has access to the key. What's the point of going to all that trouble? Why not just leave the trash room open all the time so we can all throw things out whenever we want? That does seem more convenient. So, in other words... Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. So that's it. That must be why. If anyone could go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted, the destroying evidence would be easy. The thrill would disappear, and things would become boring. But boring? Hey, listen. Anyway, more important than that. Hey, you bastard. Hey, fatty. Why do you want the cleaning duty gig anyway? Don't. That's not very nice. Oh. Um. I. I just decided to volunteer for something I knew no one else would want to do. What's the big deal? You... Liar. I know why you did it. Is it? Like... You want to dig through all the girls' trash. Looking for... You know, and... Poking around at it. There's no way to think about this in a common sense kind of way. What are you talking about? All my love is for 2D. You know what I mean. But there's all kinds of trash diggers like that. Maybe you'll get tired of 2D and then turn to... Completely unforgivable! I would never get tired of 2D! After spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D and 3D, I voluntarily chose 2D. The only thing 3D is good for is to shower love and affection on 2D. What? Oh, and PVC figures. Give me a break. How are you not totally embarrassed to say stuff like that? Hmm. If you're so worried about Hifumi's questionable morality, there's a very easy solution. Whenever a guy has cleaning duty, Sakura can accompany them from picking up the trash to disposing of it. <laughs> what? If you're as innocent as you claim, where's the harm in it? That's not how it's supposed to... Anyway, on another topic. Hifumi, 
since you were on cleaning duty, I have a favor to ask you. Mm-hmm. What, so now you suddenly want to join my party? Sorry, but you haven't triggered that flag yet. Oh, aw. Oh. I mean, you haven't helped me recover from a past trauma, or save a village, or beat a boss. No, nothing like that. I was just hoping to get into the trash room and look around. You got it. So easy. So, Hifumi and I headed down to the trash room. Yeah, that's pretty easy. I'm not after your 2D stuff. It's cool. Mm. 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 Don't. Don't fuck with me. You'd like me to open the gate, wouldn't you? Blow you away. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I look at it, it makes me think. They said he killed his wife. He learned how to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. Get busy living or get busy dying, he said. So him and Rita, they found themselves a way out. Whatever. Please just hurry up. Da, 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 da. Leave it to me. Hifumi pulled a key out of his pocket and used it to flip the switch next to the gate. And then... Yay! Mr. Naegi! Without a doubt! Surely you aren't planning to use the trash room to destroy evidence, are you? Y you fiend! You planned this all along! N no! I just wanted to see if the actual killer had tried to destroy any evidence or not. Mm, 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 but the actual killer is you, isn't it? You want to see if you left anything behind. Wait, maybe a parallel world. Whatever, let's just hurry up and keep looking. This is the incinerator. It's way in the back part of the trash room. It's a good 30 feet from here to the gate. Ah, and it's on right now. Mm -hmm. Do you see the green and yellow buttons next to the mouth of the incinerator? Yes, indeed. It's a pretty simple setup. You press the green button to get it going, the yellow button to turn it off. Sooner or later, you'll be on cleaning duty, so make sure you learn this before you leave. Okay? Someone turned the incinerator on. Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off last time I was down here. Was it a fairy? Yeah. Hifumi, do you realize what you just said? The fairy? No. You said that the last time you were here, the incinerator was off. <laughs> ah, yes. About that, there can be no mistake. If I've got one thing going for me, it's my memory. I feel as if... <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, as soon as I was appointed, I came down to check the place out. It definitely wasn't on then. I haven't been back to the trench or trash room since then. And since I'm the only one who has a key to open the gate. Most suspicious. It should be impossible for the incinerator to be on. And yet... So that means someone was able to switch on the incinerator without opening the gate. But... How is that possible? Truth bullet! <gasps> There's something on the ground in front of the incinerator. It looks like a burnt piece of something. Clothing. Hmm. A burnt piece? Like a hunk? Like a hunk of burnt in love? No. Anyway, this is... It looks like a piece of cloth in the shape... Dude, it's the end of a sleeve. It's part of the sleeve from a button-up shirt. And now that I look at it, that's definitely blood on the cuff, which means... Truth bullet! This is all that's left of some of the evidence the killer destroyed. But there are lots of people here with white button-up shirts. This isn't enough by itself to figure out who the killer is. 
bird shirt piece. <laughs> There are shards of broken glass scattered around in front of the incinerator. It looks like it used to be some kind of glass ball, just about big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Is this perhaps... Do you know what this is? Mm -hmm. They say if you collect all seven, the dragon will appear and grant you a single wish. That's Dragon Ball Z, buddy. Hmm. I'm getting aside, but I love that you made a reference to that. It's the kind of thing you might see on any big city street corner. Gaze into it and it will show you a glimpse of the future. Just like that Mina girl who was on that quest to fight that one guy. Yeah, I get what you're trying to say, but who did this particular ball belong to? There's only one person it could be. They should all still be in the gym. I'd better go find out for sure. Truth Bullet Shatter Crystal Ball. Oh. This whole thing is quite strange indeed. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your mums. <laughs> when I was here last, the incinerator was off, and those glass shards and burnt clothes weren't. Completely unforgivable! What does it all mean, Mr. Nagy? Will you be confessing soon? Why me? That's it! I'm sure of it! Everyone already knows you did it. All the mysteries are being solved one by one. Dude, I'm solving it. Sounds like he's living out one of his comic book fantasies. The green button turns it on, and the yellow button turns it off. <laughs> or so it seems, anyway. Anything else to say before we, uh, get out of here? Mr. Nagy, you seem a little down. Huh? Really? <laughs> if you need help lifting your spirits, call on me anytime. Come on, come on. <laughs> I've got all kinds of smut, or stuff that might help cheer you up. <laughs> well, at least he's honest. <sighs> okay. Everyone don't hate me for this, but this has been going probably for about an hour now, and I am actually seeing the lightning come through the window, and I really don't want my computer to crash on me and whatnot. So I'm going to save, because I have a feeling I'd rather do it now than something cool, like when we get to trial, which I have a feeling is going to be coming up soon, and I'm really excited about it. And we're actually going to double save, because why the hell not? Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope everyone has a great day or night. I hope to see you in the next episode of Danganronpa, Trick or Happy Havoc, or in one of my other playthroughs. I hope everyone has, again, an awesome day or night. You guys and gals rock. Peace out.